Well, hello everybody. Merry early Christmas to you all. It's December 23rd, 2022 in the Big Bear, California area. We're just gonna do a Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake little tour of what snow is remaining because I'm still getting a lot of messages about how much snow is up there right now. A bunch of you are coming up this weekend, so I thought I'd help you out by letting you see with your own eyes. Good to see you guys. Hope everyone's doing very well. Hope you're all staying healthy and hope you all get to spend a lot of time with your families because that's what's so special about Christmas, right? That's the most special part for me is getting to spend time with the people I love most. And uh, I wish I could have every single one of you over for dinner. We're doing prime rib. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're doing prime rib. I'm, I'm super excited. Not looking forward to paying for it. We're getting five pounds of it. So anyway, this is what we got going on here. I love you guys a lot, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We are going to take a tour through the Big Bear area. Big Bear area. This is basically where all of you go shopping, where we're driving through right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm referring to grocery shopping. This is the main grocery shopping hub area. We have two main, two main grocery stores, Stater Brothers and Vaughn's. Um, I shop at both because some of them have some things I like and just the same with the other one. There's a bunch of crazy drivers up here, me included. All right, so there's Vaughn's. Look at how packed that parking lot is. Oh my gosh. My wife's at Stater Brothers right now. Poor thing. Stater Brothers is right across the street here to the right. As I said, these are our, our main shopping areas. to actually hang on a sec guys I need to pause this for a moment I oh, forget it I'm, I'm, I'm calling my mom just a real real quick call hey hey now hey now just bear with me guys so we're on Big Bear Boulevard about to pass Stanfield cutoff which is the very end of the lake and then you can head over to Fonskin and North Shore, turning left there. But yeah, right now. Hello. Hey, Mom. Hi. Hey, hey just real quick, you're on a, a, a live video right now, so uh, so please don't yeah. don't cuss like a sailor. I'm just kidding. Um, um, <laughs> I, I, I was calling you because I wanted to remind you about the three registrations. To so don't forget to bring yeah, those. Yeah, I can't I can't find the motorcycle. Okay, didn't you stop at, at AAA? I you, no, I, I, you know what, Nick? I, I, I don't need I it. I can't do I it don't, today. No, no, no. I'm not asking okay. you to, to do it today, but uh, all right. Because I, I, will, I will go go get another duplicate set. I don't know what I've done with it. I just look for it. I'm bringing your license plate and stuff for the, the new car. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. And the bringing the pink slip on the butt bike. The pink slip? Damn! Woohoo! All right, mom, awesome. Oh my gosh. All okay. Right. And uh, okay. All right. All right, perfect. And by the way, Rachel's at huh? the grocery store, and I made her get some of that special horseradish <laughs> that that we take to to Captain's Anchorage every time we go. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm so excited to see you, mom. I love you so much. I am so damn excited. Oh, good, honey. All right. Well, I'm getting ready to pack up and get out of here. So. All right, pack it up. Au revoir. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in a couple hours. I love you, Mom. Love you, too. Bye. 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 All right, guys. Sorry about that. You know, you got to you gotta do what you got to do. You know, you got to treat the moms with a lot of love and respect because she is very special to me. So here's a sledding area for y'all. This is called Big Bear Snow Play. And uh, it's, it, it's really cool because there's like an electric walkway that'll pull you up to the top so you don't have to hike up to the top and it makes it a lot more fun because it gets tiring to have to hike up in the snow. And they make fresh snow all the time. Um, gosh, don't don't walk on that, you guys. You guys will not stay on your feet, I guarantee you, right there. But uh, I don't think any of you would be walking over there. That would be kind of weird. I'd be wondering what you're up to if you're doing that. 
up to no good. Anyway, we are in Big Bear City now, and we're gonna head up to the Sugar Loaf area. Shiggy, shiggy, shiggy. We're gonna do a short drive through Sugarloaf just so you guys can see at a higher elevation in the Big Bear City side what it's like. Because I know a lot of you do end up staying in, um, and renting Airbnbs out here. But yeah, temperature just dropped. It went from 55 to 53. But yeah, so you guys can tell that a lot of snow is gonna to melt today. A lot. And then we might hit 60 degrees on Christmas Day. You guys know how much I love the snow, but I'm telling you what, <laughs> after after being here for eight years, I finally started looking forward to the warmth for the couple months that we actually get warmth. Um, and in the wintertime, some of these nicer days I love. I just wish we had more snow. I wish we'd get like five feet of snow. And then for the next like two weeks after that, it's like 95 degrees. And then snowing again, and then get up to like 102. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing another new one of my freaking beanies. This is another color that I have. I don't know if you guys can tell or if you guys like it, but super cool. So comfortable, so comfortable. 100% fine merino wool, fine. So tonight, yeah, we do have reservations at Captain's Anchorage for my mom and my wife and myself. And for all of you uh, who don't know what Captain's Anchorage is, it is my favorite restaurant in town. It's a more expensive restaurant, which is why I don't eat there all the time, but the food is phenomenal. I always get the prime rib there. That's what they're known for. And they do have great steaks as well, but they're very known for their prime rib. And tonight we're probably gonna be getting like a pound and a half. And as I said, I ordered a whole bunch from Stater Brothers for Christmas, but I could eat prime rib every day. I just uh, don't wanna pay for it every day. <laughs> This market right here, Community Market, you guys, this is one of the oldest establishments in all of Big Bear. And this part of town was the popular part of town. This is where everything happened. Everything was going on when this town was first uh, established, really. Well, I mean, once this side of the town, because Holcomb Valley during our gold rush up here was where the town resided, up in the hills. It's such a beautiful area up there, you guys. I wish they would start doing a lot of building up there for homes and stuff like that because it's it's just a, a beautiful area at, at the same time i love keeping some of the stuff you know natural and and not touching it and screwing up nature but it would be beautiful up there there's a huge valley up there and it would oh my gosh it would be gorgeous if you put a nice like two lane each way paved road up there it would, it would only take you from north shore maybe five five minutes to get up there if you have like a a 55 mile per hour speed limit you would get there in no time you know what you know what we're gonna do i said we'll drive like half of sugarloaf we'll drive half of sugarloaf but then we'll go up to the very top and then make a u-turn at the very very top so we'll we'll drive up to where all the bears are you guys how's that i think you guys would enjoy that and then you can see how much more snow is up there about 400 500 more feet up it might be a little bit a little bit higher in, in elevation than that but i could be wrong usually we would turn right here on maple to go up to sugarloaf but we're gonna go the long way we're gonna hit highway 38 and go up baldwin road baldwin lane road baldwin something but you can see the further we go on this side of town less snow you'll see and uh regarding any weather coming we do have something coming 
on Tuesday. Pretty much once next week begins, we've got for like two weeks on and off rain and snow. It's nothing significant at all, you guys. I mean, there's no, no accumulation expected. It's mostly gonna be rain. So they say. You gotta keep in mind that I just repeat what I consider to be the most reliable forecast to you guys. And as I always tell you guys, I've used all the weather apps that you could imagine over the years up here. And the one that's been the most reliable has been the Weather Channel app. I'm not saying it would work great in your area, it's just here it seems to work great. And this is Highway 38, so this is one of the major uh, thoroughfares to come into town from down the mountain. You would be driving through Mentone and Redlands to get here on this road. Basically, there's a street in Redlands called Lagonia, and Lagonia turns into Big Bear Boulevard if you stay on it and go all the way up the mountain. Turns into Highway 38, and then Highway 38 drops you off on Big Bear Boulevard. So when I lived down the mountain in Redlands for a year, I always got so excited every time I was on Lagonia, just knowing that if I just took this one road, it would take me right into downtown Big Bear. So cool. All right, so we're gonna turn right on Baldwin here. We're, and you see the sign that says Sugarloaf? This is a much easier drive to get up to Sugarloaf when there's ice and snow on the road. Maple is really dangerous when we have good snowfall. So as I said, we're gonna take the, the main streets up here. Look at this guy charging uphill. Charging, bruh. Charging. Okay, so we're gonna make a left here on Maple at the stop sign. Right here's a beautiful little park. They've got a baseball field, uh, skateboarding, a, a skate park, a basketball court, a picnic area. It's a great, great little area. And there's the high school over there. Right over there. So we're gonna take this, and then we're just gonna take one of the side streets up to the top. And then we'll come back down and we'll go through the village. I'm gonna have to stop at Stater Brothers on that part of the drive, so bear with me. I don't think you guys wanna go into Stater Brothers with me. Maybe you do. I'll feel like such a dork walking in there recording. But maybe we'll do it, I don't know. I don't want to waste your guys' time too much like that, but I want you guys to see basically all the main parts of town where you guys will be staying. Hardly any of you ever stay in Fonskin, so that's why we're not going over to Fonskin right now. I mean, hardly any of you. Even though Fonskin's a beautiful part of this valley, you guys, because it's very quiet, very peaceful. Not much goes on over there. So now we are on Barton when we turn right here. Barton Lane. What's up, Barton Lane? Got a restaurant up here, Callan's, and a liquor store right there. Oh, sorry, guys. I missed it. But that's Callan's right there. I'm screwing up this video pretty good, aren't I? So we'll just drive about halfway up to the end up here. And then we'll make a left to go up to the very top. And as I said, when we get to the top, that is bear country for sure. Some of these streets, like every day, if their trash cans are not put up properly, uh, they'll be torn up and torn into. So we don't want to uh, be up here at night too often because it gets a little bit scary. 
if you have a place up here, that would be freaking awesome. Put a bunch of really good security systems on your place just so you can see and get freaking notified if we if we get anything like bears or anything like that so we are on a street called Vista we're just gonna go up to the top and take it over to one street usually at the top of the mountain up here you can uh, take a little dirt road to get to the next street and it comes back down so that's what we'll do So here's Clark Street. As you can see, the higher in elevation we are getting, the more snow we are, are coming into. And also, you can tell that there's not much direct sunlight on streets like this. So a lot of the snow's not not gonna melt, but hang on a sec, I'm gonna have to answer that. So I'm gonna have to put this phone down for a quick second. Hang on guys. Let me pull over real quick. Okay. So we're at the top here. Oh wait, I thought we could turn around here and go through to the next street. Maybe we can, but I'm not gonna take that risk on this one because I don't wanna get stuck or get shot. I'd rather get shot than get stuck. <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of you are like, hey, I can help you with that. Gotta back up and be careful. I'm gonna hit all this snow right here. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a 35,000 point turn here. I just don't wanna get my bumper all screwed up from this hard snow. But yeah, guys, just real real quick, back here, bear country. This is all bear country back here. All of this. I know I'm not giving you the best view right now, but at the, this is the very top of Sugarloaf, you guys. So this is, as I said, bear country. And they have all these trash cans that are usually locked up, especially the higher up you get. Most of them have these chains around them and stuff like that, simply because of the bears. Duh, bears. Duh, bears. Duh, bears. All right, so bear with me a sec, guys, okay? Hang on. Okie dokie, artichokey. Okie dokie, artichokey. so excited for dinner but I'm probably gonna have to stop at McSchmonald's and get just something light until dinner time I could make a peanut butter and jelly but I've been eating those like crazy lately my wife does a lot of cooking so I'm, I'm very very thankful for that and it's always so yummy like I'm so lucky I got very lucky with this woman all right, so we're back to Barton, but we're just gonna stay straight on Vista and take this until it hits, this will wind around and it'll hit, uh, what is it? Uh, the way we came up, Baldwin, it'll hit Baldwin. Then as I said, we're gonna go through uh, Big Bear City through the village and then come back. I'm really nervous about going through the village though because it's probably going to be so packed. Oh my gosh, it's going to be ridiculous. This is Manzanita.
gosh, I remember always visiting up here as a youngster. Well, like the Lake Arrowhead area, and I'm seeing a, a bunch of kids in their full snow gear and stuff on the side. And it just brings back great memories because I'd be so excited for going skiing that like the couple days before we went skiing, I was always wearing my full gear, going outside, like waxing my skis like 20 different times. And oh man, it was just so awesome. I really miss those days. I really do. The innocence of being a child. I really miss it. Alright, so as I said, Vista curves around here and turns into Baldwin Lane. We are on Baldwin now. Hang on a second, I'm, I'm gonna have to see. I thought that was her calling me, but it, it wasn't. All right, we're gonna go down Maple now because we came up Baldwin. Go ahead. Thank you. Why, thank you, thank you. Hi there, could you please text me? Thank you. There's a horrible view of the top of the high school. And now we're going down Maple. I, I'm looking through the camera and it just doesn't look nearly as steep as it, it really is. As I said, when there's ice on here, it's, it's freaking hairy. It is really hairy. Some years cars slide out of control. I don't care what you're driving. I don't care if it's me driving with my snow tires. It's, it's, it's bad. I mean, from like right here, you could be stopped and you'll just slide all the way down through the intersection. It's so funny because someone actually recorded that up here and it was their only video that they've ever posted on YouTube. And it has like th almost three times more views than all my videos combined. <laughs> Just his one video. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And the funny thing is, is that he actually got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to put it on my YouTube channel, but I felt kind of like I, it'd be shameful because I didn't capture it myself. So I, I didn't want to post it, but uh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. That would have made me some money on YouTube finally. That would have been awesome. But you guys know my goal isn't making money because I, I don't ask you guys to subscribe or hit the like or hit the notification bell like every single other YouTube channel. This is a passion of mine. I love doing it. And I love the interaction with all of you guys. And I never want you guys to feel like it's not authentic. So I got my wedding ring back from being resized for the second time. And it's still way too big. I'm so upset about it. They had it for like three and a half weeks again. Um, the last time I kept it for like, I don't know, three, two and a half, three months before I got it sized properly because uh, I, I, you know, right when I got married, I wanted to have the ring and and wear it. So I wore these like plastic ring adjuster or, or, or ring sizers, which was very unattractive, but it allowed me to wear, wear my ring. And this is the second time that I've, I've had them do it. And it's literally no different than before. The size, it just slips right off my finger. Such a bummer. 
and it's not like I have time to be going down the mountain to K Jewelers all the time, so. Oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, we're, 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 on, we're in Big Bear, uh, in Big Bear City, headed back. As I always tell you guys, my friend Sahil owns this Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I'm telling you guys, he is one of the coolest, nicest people ever. And they have a bunch of cool Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that too. Not just your like smoking needs and like that. So um, yeah, they've got some uh, um, Big Bear souvenirs and stuff like that. Um, you guys should definitely, if you want something different to shop through, I would definitely stop by there. And if you guys mention me, I, th I think he'll hook you guys up. So, um, or he'll charge you double. <laughs> one of the two no, he'll definitely hook you guys up he's a super super cool dude but I have a lot of love and respect for him because he made me feel so comfortable when I moved up here and made me feel welcome and that meant everything to me because I was so lonely up here I, I didn't know a single soul in Big Bear not a single soul and now I know so many people so many people This is called Dead Man's Curve. I've told you guys many times, I don't know how cars coming from the other direction haven't slid out so many times and gone over this cliff and crushed these houses right at the bottom. I just don't know how that has not happened all the time because it gets really slippery right there. So thankfully it hasn't happened, but I just don't know how. But let's just keep hoping that it does not happen. Yep. <sighs> I'm tired. Very tired. Been doing a lot of cleaning at, at the house and getting it ready for the mom. And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of you up here, and I'm super super, it's super excited for you guys. I just wish that we had some snow falling from the sky for y'all. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen until two days after Christmas. And it might not be much... Well, it's definitely not going to be much snow at all, but um, it's not going to be much precipitation at all. But it is going to mostly be the liquid kind. So that's not good. And why it's not good is because it's miserable when it's a cold rain falling down. Once again, here's Big Bear Snow Play. Freaking packed. But you guys will get plenty of chances to to sled there oh my gosh lots of people so on the left hand side here guys I know it looks like you can sled here but there's signs every 50 feet that says, do not park. And I've seen so many cars get ticketed. It, it's, it, it's hilarious because one car will park there, like right in front of the sign. And I, I, I thought, you know, you had to, to be able to read to, to be able to drive. But I, I just, I don't want you guys to have to pay a huge fine for the most simple, simple thing. Um, I wish that they would create some sort of a parking on the side there or take those signs away this time of year so you guys can park there and sled. So it's kind of not fair. I wish that you guys could get the ability to park there. But as I said, it's like every 50 feet, there's these signs right here that say no, no parking anytime. There's no asterisk, asterisk that says uh, when there's snow you can, unfortunately. So just be super careful. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. You guys are already spending a fortune to be up here. A ticket would not be fun. There's a lot of people. I, I might not go to McDonald's. I might just go to my house and get a PBJ. And we're going to go to Stater later. Hey, I'm a poet. Didn't know it.
This is a cool Audi in front of us. I like Audis. Very expensive, but great cars. The first Audis that came out were horrible. Years ago, horrible. They had so many problems. They were like the worst. And they got their stuff together and now we're up there with like Mercedes and whatnot. So good for them. Beautiful view, Snow Summit. Gosh, I love the coming around that corner right there. It's so gorgeous. We would take the back roads, guys, to get to the village, but I want you guys to feel like you're actually on Big Bear Boulevard with me. We're passing the grocery stores again. Just ridiculously packed. I hope my wife is done and out of the store because uh, I don't want her to have to waste her time like that. But she's doing it for us. As I said, going through the village is going to be a freaking nightmare. What we might do, if, if I see the traffic on the other side of the road is ridiculously crazy, like I'm sure it will be once we get close to the village. Once we get to the village, then we're going to take back roads home. So I'll keep you guys with me until we uh, get back to Moon Ridge Road so you guys can see th those back streets to save you guys some time. Just remember, I'm showing you guys these back roads every now and again because I want you guys to not waste all your time up here. And I expect that everyone's gonna not speed through these streets and not run over any kids and stuff like that. Um, and just, you know, just be as respectful as all of you are. Because I, I, I get a lot of crap from some locals about showing you guys these things and I'm never gonna stop trying to help you guys out. I just need you guys to always keep on being awesome like you are, that's all. I'll continue to help you out. I will continue to help you out. I mean, everything is packed. Even Walgreens, there's, there, there's not even a freaking parking spot there. Craziness. Walgreens is craziness. Okie dokie. We got a green light. So yeah, guys, there's a lot of traffic, especially on that side. So we are gonna take the back roads all the way to Spoon Ridge. Hey, we do, we do, we do. I just love seeing all these people up here. It is so awesome. It's so, cause I know how it felt to come up here to come visit. It was just such a great feeling. I won't lie though, it'll be nice when the holiday's over because the town will be dead. And literally by like eight o'clock at night, you won't see like one car on this stretch from here to the village. And it's just, it's super, super peaceful, super relaxing. But as I said, I know how it feels to come up here and vacation and it's such a great feeling. So it makes me super excited for you guys. I'm really excited for you guys. I wish all of you could could come up here, especially my my foreign friends. Like Paolo from Brazil and uh, Paul from England, like all of you. Peter. You guys are awesome. There's there's a there's an awful lot of you guys. I just never ever expected this would happen on this channel. As you guys can see, the roads are in beautiful condition. Our snowplow crews do such a great job. They deserve a pat on the back for sure. the drive through is not bad at all. We're going to have to go through there on the way back because it doesn't look like traffic is going to be too bad to where we have to take the back streets. So that's good. Very good. Oh, my arm is getting tired from holding this camera for so long. Temperature is back up to 55.
Oh, hello. I love you, babe. I'm so excited for dinner. I can't wait. Have you eaten anything yet, my darling? Okay, guys, so we're gonna change lanes here. You guys gotta, oh, I just passed it. Big Bear Roasting Company to the right. I'm telling you guys, we just passed it. If you want some darn good coffee, I'm talking darn good coffee. They do an amazing job and they roast everything locally and um, it's, it's, it's top shelf coffee. It is top shelf coffee. And the owner is the top shelf guy himself. I'm telling you, that guy works so hard. And he goes through quite a bit with some uh, medical stuff. So like, I, I, I just urge you guys to support that place too because he is so wonderful. But I would never refer you somewhere if the product wasn't just the best. Look at all this traffic right here. So we're gonna be going through the village and we're gonna be avoiding this for the most part, but we do have this little bit that we're gonna hit right here until we get to the village. So that's kind of a bummer. But we're gonna keep you guys here with me until we go through. Well, I wish I had something to drink. I wish I had something to drink. Here's the bowling barn. It's crazy to think I've only been there twice in the eight years that I've been here. I need to go there a lot more. Let's do this. Let's get through this. Major shortcut, if you wanna bypass all this traffic, you turn right here, and I could show you guys in the future when we go that direction, how to do that. I've shown you guys numerous times in other videos, but I'm always willing to show you guys again and again, especially because I like to take those routes, so I'm gonna be driving on it, recording on those anyway. So much traffic. Here's one of town's favorite snowboard shops for clothing and stuff like that. I believe they do rentals as well. I believe they do. I remember that place from when I was a kid. And then for like a family orientated atmosphere for pizza, this place, Village Pizza, I would strongly suggest it. It's got that, that old pizza house vibe and uh, it is pretty darn, darn good. But I always have to be honest with you guys, just like a lot of the restaurants up here, it's very hit and miss. Some days it's like the best pizza I've ever had and other days it's like, eh. Not ich, it's never ich, but it's never uh, as special as I want it to be all the time. But yeah, it's a phenomenal place when, when it's done right. So here we go, we're gonna go through the village. And I might show you guys a little village shortcut here too, if we need it. We might not need it. 
it's a little just kind of a hop skip and a jump through one of the parking lots to take you behind the village on one street and get you to the other side because a lot of times it's backed up from here already and it's it can take forever i really want to stay here you guys i really want to stay here i would love that so much to treat my wife there so look if it's backed up we would turn right here and go through this parking lot to the back street but it's not backed up so we are golden Go ahead, go ahead. You are safe to go. All right, and then there's a new store up here, right here called Queen Bee. Guys, if you guys want the best honey around, locally derived Queen Bee Honey Shop, they've got amazing honey products. They just opened, yesterday was their grand opening. Honey, and it's right next to the Jack in the Box, basically. I really think you guys would really enjoy that place. They even have like edible honeycombs and stuff like that and all these different types of lotions and everything made with the highest quality honey. Um, once again, they're also super cool owners and I always love supporting the super cool folks. But once again, I gotta remind you guys, I would never refer you someplace just because I like the people. The product must be good as well because I can't do that to you guys. You guys are coming up here spending a fortune already. I don't want to steer you guys wrong. Keep in mind, this is all subjective though. This is how I feel about it. Okay. One of these days we are going to do a walk through this village and I hope it's not too long from now, but I'm always so freaking busy. It's just so hard. but we are gonna make a left here and go through. Okay. All right, here we go. Keep in mind up here, a lot of these shops, guys, things are so expensive. Yep, you're, you're supposed to look. I don't wanna hit you, dude. You're. Spending money up here though, we appreciate that. I just don't want to run anybody over. You guys, please understand that there's a lot of impatient people up here and they will uh, accidentally run people over. I've seen it. I've seen it. Not really run people over, but like get bumped into. And um, yeah, so just please, please, especially with your kids, hold their hands all the time. I'm sure you do, but hold their hands all the time because we do get a lot of impatient people up here. I am one of them, but I have grown significantly. You guys have helped me to become a much better man and not be such a jerk. So I am a lot more patient. I just constantly remind myself when I'm starting to get frustrated that without you guys, none of this happens for me. I'm not able to live up here. It's you guys who infuse our economy with finances that allow me and countless others to live here. So yeah, we just went through the village. This is one of my favorite places to stay right here, Robin Hood Resort. There's a lot of nostalgia involved there because before I moved here, I would stay there all the time. I think the main reason I would stay there all the time is because it was the first place that I stayed up here um, when it wasn't at someone's house. So it just, it just, it brings back all those memories. And then every time we would come up here after that, we would stay there. That was after my mom got uh, sold her house in Lake Arrowhead. We had a, a, a vacation house in Lake Arrowhead right across from the Lake Arrowhead Village. Beautiful views, I'm telling you, beautiful lake view. Everything was so gorgeous. Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company right there. Guys, I'm telling you, you guys have to go there. Do not drive by it and don't... Don't, don't pass it if you're a coffee lover. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It is worth it. I think you'll be blown away. My favorite 
strain. <laughs> My favorite coffee there is called Mother's Camp. Mother's Camp. And uh, it's... It's delightful. Okay. I eat at this... Oh my gosh, that's right. I've got a BRC burrito at home I can put in the microwave. Yeah, boy! Thank you, El Pollo Loco. I don't need to stop at Mickey D's. Because I don't want to spend no cheese. Do, 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 do. No worries, my brother. I hope you're having a great day. I got that other one that I was telling you about. got a YouTube donation from you guys. Holy moly. A gentleman named Kevin Smith sent me 25 bucks. That is so cool, man. That is so cool, you guys. They love me. They really love me. I, I it's, it's amazing. It, it really is amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys a lot. Of course, Kevin, I'll be making you a video, my brother from another mother. I'm super looking forward to it. So what we're gonna do here at Summit Boulevard so we don't have to stay with all this traffic and hitting Moon Ridge is we're gonna turn right on Summit, which is how you would go to get to Snow Summit. And then we're gonna turn left on Brownie Lane to go behind Big Bear Boulevard to hit Moon Ridge Road. And then we'll be just about home. I'm sure you guys have had enough of me by now. So I think I'm gonna shut it off right when we uh, turn on to Brownie Lane. But uh, yeah. Just want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. I've got some thank you letters or thank you videos coming up on that I'm going to post on Christmas Day. Um, thank you guys. Thank each and every single one of you for everything. Just please stay safe out there. As I said, I hope all of you get to spend time with all your loved ones. And please, please celebrate each other. Celebrate the birth of Christ. Celebrate everything. Enjoy yourselves. Eat a bunch of great food. Have fun opening presents together. Um, just, just remember family and friends that it's, that's what it's all about. All the material stuff, is, but having people love you, there's no better feeling. And that's the only way to live life and be happy is to be loved and to love. So I love all of you guys. I love you guys a lot. And thank you guys for absolutely everything. So here we go. Straight ahead is Snow Summit Ski Resort. We're gonna be making a lefty Lucy here. And we are gonna shut the video down right now. You guys take it easy. Or take it any way you can get it. I love you very much. It is December 23rd, 2022. Back in the Big Bear Lake part of California. Peace out guys.